Good morning from New York City. Good morning from Manhattan. It's our last day. Our last day of our whirlwind New York City weekend. Uh Uh-huh. That included Pink on Thursday night. Yep. Metallica on Friday night. Yep. Saturday at Seaside Heights. Yep. Saturday night with Adam Milton and Kara. Yep. That was fun. Uh, Sunday, we are going to Chelsea Market. We're going to walk the High Line. And then we're going to make our way over to the American Dream Mall. And uh, we're going to see what kind of trouble we can get into. All right, guys. We are now arriving at the famous Chelsea Market. Seven stories tall. I don't think we're going to go through all seven stories in one clip. But we're going to go check it out. And we're going to show you as much as we can. Farmstead Meats, which is one of the many places here inside the Chelsea Market where you can get something to eat. One happened to get a Spindrift cider, and of course I've got my Diet Coke. And when the order is ready, sorry, Diet Coke, and when the order is ready, this thing's going to light up like a Christmas tree. They give you your receipts and they tell you what you've ordered. So we've ordered a smash burger and some ribs, and they don't really allow filming inside the Chelsea Market here. so. We'll try, maybe, maybe not, get some stock footage in here of the Chelsea Market so you guys can see what it's all about. All right, so we've got the smash burger here. It comes with a pickle, some french fries, and here's the mayonnaise and the ketchup to go with it. And look at those spare ribs. OMG. That's 20 bucks worth of spare ribs in Manhattan, New York City. That's a steal. And the smash burger over here? 15. So- 15 bucks included. Look at the price. Steal. Now, mm-hmm. as far as getting some footage of Chelsea Market goes, when we're done eating here, Mr. Murphy is going to take some pictures. So we'll give you a dose of what it looks like. So this will just give you an idea of what it's like here in the Chelsea Market. You got all different restaurants. You got all different venues. Very pretty in here. Maybe we'll link it in the footage below of what you can see the full experience of what Chelsea Market is. But This is all we're giving you because we want you to come to New York City and see what it's all about. Okay, so we lied. We're gonna show you some more Chelsea Market because when we first walked in, they were saying something about no videotaping, no photography, but other people are doing it, so so could I. Artists and Fleas, bookstores, gelato. Yeah, this is good. So that's all you get at Chelsea Market because like I said in the first part of the video We want you to really come to New York City and see what it's all about No cost to enter. You can just travel at your own will or you can take a a food tour It costs about 78 bucks They take you through and I think you get some tastings and I don't have the exact skinny down of that But now we are going to try to find the High Line and we're going to give you some of that as you can see, it's right there. So, and get ready, guys. Our adventure continues. All right, guys. Here's our map to the High Line. They've got some rules. Respect the park, people, plants. Don't be horsing around. There's also a app that will give you information about the High Line. What do you got to say for yourself? I've never been up here before. This is going to be great. This used to be an elevated rail, from what I understand, that Mr. Murphy has advised us of. And we're going to check it out. We've got vendors on the High Line. Lots to choose from. This is really cool. Now, this is really neat, you guys. So behind us, way up there, is the new observation deck called Edge, where you can see 
a lot of New York City up there. Look at all the people that are up there. Mm -hmm. That is absolutely crazy. I think it has a glass floor too. Yeah, it has a glass floor too, and it's like thirty-six dollars. So I'm going to take over the camera and I'm going to zoom no, in to I'm show you guys. In. There you go. Oh, okay. So he's already got it. All right. But and where are we filming from? We're filming from the High Line. We're on the High Line right now, and there's a little spot over here where you can get a good view and some selfies. But we're walking the High Line all the way from 10th Avenue to 30th. Yep. 10th Street. 10th Street to 30th Street. Got go. it. Well, we just found another true hidden little gem called Little Spain. Very similar to Chelsea Market. Spanish Market. It's a Spanish and Market. Lots of foods and restaurants. Look at the, the legs hanging over there. Oh my gosh. I gotta get some of that meat like we got in Barcelona. Oh, of course you do. Yeah. This is called Little Spain. It's right at the end of the High Line before Chelsea Park. This is cool. All right, so we have picked up some meats from Jaman and Queso. I'm gonna show you what this place looks like. It's pretty cool. It's pretty neat. And the one that we just picked up was called the Tapa de Jaman Imperico or something like that. I kind of did it too quick. And behind him is the Barcelona where he just picked up some wine for himself. Looks good. Mm -hmm. And another mocktail from Moi. Real, limon. real fresh squeezed lemonade. Nice. All right, take a bite. Here, you try that. I'll try one of these. Mmm. Uh -huh. Oh. Tastes just like Barcelona. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So we got off of the High Line and landed in this mall after we were downstairs in Little Spain eating. And we are up on one of the floors and we've seen this. So we had to share. Fried chicken. Fuku. 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 <laughs> or however you choose to say it. Or give lots, me a cruel chuckle. Lots of stores in here, lots of things to do. The tickets to go on the edge are fifty-one dollars each. So buy them in advance. Yeah, buy them in advance. You're better off. Be Thirty-five dollars to buy them in advance. Exactly. All right, on to the next stop. So here is everything in the mall where we're located. It's a very beautiful mall. You guys gotta definitely come and check it out. So we just came out of the shops here at Hudson Yards and couldn't stop noticing that red tree over there. But this is absolutely beautiful. It's a beautiful day in the city. And we are on to the next stop. Glenn has something up his sleeve again. I wonder where we're going to next. And straight ahead is the Empire State Building. Glenn must have something really good up his sleeve if we're going in this direction because we never get over this far in New York City when we're here. Gee, where are we now? That was pretty painless. What? Painful. Painful. Coming up, up through the subway. There's a difference between painless and painful. That was painful. Almost as painful as the spiral staircase to get from the subway station to Montmartre in Paris. Right. Because <coughs> once you start in it, you can't turn around. There's no going back. There's no elevator, no nothing. So what does Taco Vision have to do with this adventure? Um, this is just a stop or This is an oasis. Uh -huh. it's, it's 90 degrees outside and in here. It's about 65 degrees. And uh, it's a really nice place. The so downstairs was empty. You take a look at my picture of the empty downstairs. But upstairs, very lively and they have a back porch. There wasn't as good a breeze as there was on the front porch downstairs but come in sit down and cool off that's the objective right now you don't have to eat a lot of food we might just get chips and salsa how about three different kinds of salsa they do have a special for brunch and i may i'm thinking maybe it's only on a sunday but bottomless drinks as much as you can drink in 90 minutes for 26 dollars everybody at the table has to do it or tacos as much as you can eat in 90 minutes for 28 dollars do the both of them together, it's 48 bucks. This is Taco Vision. We're at 53rd Street and 2nd Avenue. Wow. 
What have you done? What have you done? You're gonna ruin your supper. You're gonna ruin our supper. These is rotisserie roasted chicken nachos with pickled cucumbers, pickled onions. It's got a little, I hope this is cilantro. Oh, fantastic. Excellent stop if I don't say so myself. Oh my God. You just How do like, I stumble on these places? I don't know, you just like go, go, go. You don't believe in downtime. Oh man. I don't think we're gonna have room for a Sharma after that thing. Nope, you're the done. Rotisserie chicken. I, I'm still gonna be. I'll be eating corned beef at the stadium again. What yes, the heck? sir. That's it. Boom. All right, guys. We're at the next stop, Roosevelt Island Tramway entrance. In all the years that I've been coming here to New York City, I've never rode this, and Glenn really wants me to experience it. So if you look over here, we've got some wires where the tram car comes in on and it takes you all the way across. So he's really soaking in his time today here in New York City as we make our way back to MetLife Stadium later on this evening. So here we go. All right, we're now on Roosevelt Island. And we just rode what is the second cheapest tourist attraction in Manhattan. Yep. We rode the Roosevelt Island Tramway. So we're here's Roosevelt Island's map, as you can see. It tells you you are here. And we are gonna scope out the island. This guy's going to hit me as I'm crossing the fucking street. Excuse the language. Here is the waterfront. There's probably a lot of things to do out here. There and, uh, is the tramway that we just came on. We used to come here uh, when we were younger for a little solitude, for a little quiet and a little peace. And today, that thing was loaded for bear. Mm -hmm. And what we would do is normally walk down along the river over here and take in the lower Manhattan skyline and uh, me I'm waiting for that tram to take off so I can take my iconic tram leaving the station picture and did you see the amusement park over there uh, well it kind of looks like an amusement park but it's really just a sculpture so it looks like uh, it looks like the super duper looper yeah. from here okay right here we go here's your iconic moment take it off. that's the exact ride we just came in on folks it went right alongside the Brooklyn Bridge. Amazing. Huh? Sorry, wrong bridge. <laughs> oh, you know, we're just clowning around, drinking some water, and bothering these humans. Hopefully these people walking by us, they don't bother us and let us drink our water. And we've made it over to Bryant Park. We did. Boy, you're really getting the last of this vacation in. And before know, the next 40 days of hell. It's almost 4 o'clock. They didn't even open the parking lots over at MetLife Stadium yet. Let alone, I don't know, they open the parking lots, not the gates. So, might be some people over there tailgating right now. And we're doing our tailgate here in Manhattan. Got it. <laughs> over to Bryant Park. Gonna go to that carousel and Relive another memory. Well, he's made it into his favorite Donner Kebab restaurant here at the American Dream Mall, located in New Jersey. What do you have to say for yourself? You've been eating your way through New York City and New Jersey this entire weekend. That's right, and uh, I love Donner Kebab, and we've been to Germany so many times, and that is one of our staples when we visit Germany, to go and visit where they cut the meat off of the spit over here, throw in some French fries, some curry sauce, and I'm getting salad tonight. I'll have, you know, I'm eating healthy. Well, you better. Mm-hmm. And there you have it. The Donner quesadilla with french fries, extra sauce, and... These are the egg rolls. Egg roll. One of each. He's a happy camper. Here we go. Metallica day two. Woo!
weekend. Four days. Four days filled with jam-packed adventure. Brought to you by us truly. Hopefully you enjoyed the past four days. Here comes 40 days of non-stop work for us. We'll try to get some adventures in, but till next time, subscribe, like, comment down below. Let us know how you thought of the series. See you next time.